you want to keep big snakes, right? We're in Lucy's game, and uh, there happens to be a little bit of a mess going on here. Lucy looks like she pooped in the water. The honest got truth is this shed all over the place here didn't come from Lucy. She's actually in shed right now, getting ready for a prelay shed. So the culprit of this one happens to be right up there in the tree, which is Titan. I know in a perfect world, we want our snakes to shed in one piece, obviously. It's something that we always are struggling with here because obviously we're trying to heat this huge cage. We've got basking lights here. We've got heat pads underneath, and that's gonna dry the air out. Do the best we can do to spray down the bedding as much as we can. We obviously have a large water basin, but sometimes this still just happens. With that being said, my start of the day is gonna be cleaning this cage out. Cleaning out the water here and get ready for an extremely busy day. And honestly, I have some more shed over here in the corner. Definitely have to do the entire water basin, but I'm here alone and I always say I don't want to go in a cage alone with a snake like Lucy. And sure enough, she was striking at me. I finally said, you know what, I'm just gonna let it go. Wait till Bruce comes in and then we can tackle the last little bit. But at least I cleaned it up the best I can. And oh, by the way, welcome to the vlog. And when I say I have a busy day, I'm not kidding you. I have five private tours today before we're open at the Reptarium tonight for the five hours we're open. So it's gonna be absolutely incredible. I I'm actually in here now, just going through and making sure everything's okay. Again, Bruce and Jessica and Lori and Noah will all be here in a few hours to start doing all the maintenance, you know, cleaning up the glass. Obviously, Bella gets her glass dirty every day, making sure that there's water, feeding all the lizards, tortoises, all that type of stuff. Regardless, I just am going through making sure everything's okay. What do you say we say hi to Bella? Come on, girl. That's it. There's the ball, and there's the food. There you go, girl. And just continuing to habituate her to getting this training done. Bella, you're so cute. Every morning I love to come and see Bella. And you know, I never want to get like braggadocious on you guys because that's not what I am at all. You know, I work hard and the success that we sometimes can see is really through just tremendous amounts of hard work. Take a look at Night Fury. Ooh, doggy. He is getting big and he's getting more beautiful every single day. But every now and then, I do want to just kind of tell you to follow your dreams, you guys know that I'm all about inspiration, making sure that you follow the dreams you are. The Reptarium was really a dream of mine, right? It was a passion project. It was something that I didn't know anyone would even want to come and see, to be totally honest with you. So when I went to Lori and said, is it okay if we spend like $200,000 making a little private zoo? That is just basically for us. Maybe people will come, maybe they won't. Well, surprisingly enough, Lori was completely on board. I really haven't showed you how big, big Bertha is getting lately. It is unbelievable. Look at her collars too, absolutely incredible. And oh, by the way, I'm gonna try to get some more lychees here pretty soon, uh, more on that later. But the fact is, is like I told you guys, when I first opened up the Reptarium, I literally didn't know if anyone was gonna come. I had no idea. I just wanted to make the place that I wanted to go when I was a kid, you know, my dream place. And the truth is, I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit about just following your dreams. And sometimes, even when you think of something crazy like the Reptarium, sometimes it works out. You know, I had told Lori when we decided to open up to the public that I was hoping we would get between 30 and 40 people per night here on the weekends, meaning that I hope that somewhere between 100 people a weekend would come in, see the Reptarium, and then I hope that we would do between one and three tours or birthday parties per week. I figured if we did that much, we would be able to at least cover expenses. We'd never make that initial investment back, but hey, it didn't matter. But I thought it would be good if at least we covered our expenses. And here we are eight months later, and I can't even express to you how crazily successful it's been. I mean, not in my wild this dreams, what I have thought what would happen would have happened where it became so popular. Now again, I'm not bragging people. I don't know what the future holds. I mean, maybe it'll one day not be successful. I don't know. But again, instead of doing one or three events per week, I'm doing five today. I think total we did 15 or 16 events this week. And honestly, guys, we hardly ever do less than 500 people through the door on the weekend. Most weekends we're closer to 700. My point is, is that even when you think something outrageous and crazy, in my case, case wanted to spend a lot of money doing something really awesome that I just wanted to do for myself and for my animals quite frankly it sometimes works out so if you have a crazy idea that just seems like how can I possibly do this what if it doesn't work out sometimes you just got to go for it because honestly sometimes it does work out and when it does work out oh my gosh is it amazing I was literally sitting here last night with a group of people just kind of playing with sunrise and just talking about how amazing of an experience Experience this whole thing has been and how again it blew my expectations out of the water not just from a success standpoint because most of the people that know me know I really don't care about the money side of 
things. You see that I don't dress in fancy clothes. I don't wear a bunch of fancy jewelry. I obviously I'm driving a truck that's getting old because I don't want to spend the money. I don't really care about material things. The success for me is the fact that we're reaching people. People are coming in and experiencing things that they couldn't experience otherwise. And the thing that shocked me the most, honestly, is my enjoyment level out of it. I mean, I am obsessed with this place. I'm obsessed with people coming in and teaching them and letting people hold their first snake and letting people that love snakes hold more snakes or getting a chance to see a retic for the first time or whatever the case may be. It has been a dream come true. But I don't want to bore you guys because some of you guys are like, all right, Brian, I don't want to hear about how great your life is. Listen, it's not all peaches and cream, you know. I haven't updated you guys on Helen in a while. She's doing absolutely incredible. I love her to death. And again, this is one of those animals that when kids do come in that are a little bit apprehensive, I can pull her out. And for two reasons, kids seem to love her. Number one, she's small, she's really placid and absolutely incredible. But for whatever reason, sometimes because she doesn't have eyes, kids don't feel as intimidated by it. Almost like if she can't see, she can't bite me. And this is a way to break that fear, right? They hold this and they think, oh my God, if I hold this, I can hold the next egg and the next egg and the next thing they're holding Perdita. But the fact is, guys, is it's not always easy for me. You guys know I take a tremendous amount of heat online. It's just part of the thing. Not to mention, you know, I wake up every morning at like 6.30 in the morning and I work until like 11 o'clock at night, seven days a week. So that's just kind of part of the deal. So if you want to go after your dreams, you have to be willing to sacrifice and work hard for it. But again, when you do something you love, are you really truly working? Oh, and for those of you guys that don't think leopard geckos like to climb, uh, take a look at that little monkey up there, right there. And that's one of the things we see with this particular cage, which by the way, one day I will be selling leopard gecko cages just like this. I promise it's going to be soon. I think that this week we actually have a friend of mine that's a photographer to come out and actually take pictures because the only thing that's holding us back from putting these out online, bearded dragon, ball python, and leopard gecko cage is literally pictures. I just need pictures for the website. We have pricing, shipping, everything worked out. But nevertheless, look at that animal up there using that. And she often is up here on this ledge too. It just warms my heart to see animals use all these cracks and crevices and I think that when we do start selling these how many animals are going to truly love it as well. Okay so I'm done with the inspirational talk. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. If you guys like it hit that like button. I'm going to turn the vlog over to Lori and Noah for a little bit. I'll be checking back in with you guys on occasion but I'm going to be really busy for the next five and a half hours doing tours. I'm going to love it. It's going to be amazing and then we're open tonight so it's going to be really cool too but again I'll check back with you guys. As for now here's Lori and Noah. Yo what's up guys it's me Noah and I'm here with my mom. You, what's your name? Uh, Lori. Okay, that's your name. <laughs> and today we're gonna be going around the reptarium, and we're gonna have we have like a whole table of insects. We're gonna be going to guys like our little chameleons over here, our buddy Andy. What else are you thinking? Yeah, I just want to try to see what kinds of animals, like chameleons, lizards, yeah. that maybe I can get to tongue feed. That's tongue not feed. something that I really have ever done. Okay. Um, I know I've heard Jessica and people talking about it, so okay. I thought, hey, why not? Me try. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're going to be going around the reptarium, tong feeding, and uh, let's just start off with our 16 baby chameleons. Are you ready for this? I think you actually just have to use your hand because they all come out and they just like attack your hand. Really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So okay. let's get started. All right. First one up, our chameleons. So we have our little baby crickets. Obviously, we need a lot of them because there are a lot of these chameleons, 16 to be precise. So, uh, do you know what to do? Just grab a hand. I know what to do. I'm not really happy about this. This freaks me out really oh, bad. Oh, oh your arm. Geez. Go, go, go. Look. You're blowing them off, Mom. Look. All right, it's not working at all. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, a chameleon's on the camera, Mom! A this isn't working out at all! This is terrible! I don't know how to go with this. Oh, I got crickets everywhere! Someone, someone grab this chameleon off the camera. Come here, little guy. <laughs> this, you just made this up. This is not even Bruce a chameleon. Made it up. I, I, have video, I have video footage of this. I have video footage of this. Oh my <laughs> god, this is terrible. We didn't even get a single one. No! Feet. They just crawled all over me. What? That was. <laughs> That was so funny. I was looking through the viewfinder and all of a sudden a freaking chameleon just comes out and just goes out to the screen. That was awesome. I mean, they're eating, they're catching them, but they did not eat them off my hand. Operation Get Lord to have crickets on her and complete. This was, this was a huge fail. I feel like I have crickets all over me still. Okay, yeah, that, the first, <laughs> our first feeding of the day, uh, not very well. Got okay, it right here. He's about to get it. Boom! There you go. There's a... Boom! Yes. Look at another one! Oh, she was going for oh. it! <laughs> he stole it! 
<laughs> Long shot. This is actually awesome. Okay. Last time I listened to Boom! <laughs> it is so cool how long their tongues are. <laughs> Bam! That is awesome. <laughs> really cool. Alright, cool. So actually it turned from unsuccessful to pretty successful. <laughs> Chameleons, 16 chameleons fed. Mark that off the list. I do have to take a little bit of a break here and tell you guys that uh, Deadpool showed up. What's up? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, I've been excited about this tour for a while now. You travel around as Deadpool and you do a bunch of cool stuff. Oh so, yeah, I just go. I, I'll go to Walmart as Deadpool. Oh my god, that is awesome. Now, do you post this online? Uh, yes, I have an Instagram. All right, show, tell me your Instagram. Uh, the Smoking Gunman. I'm gonna put a link in the description, guys. Go pay him some love. Uh, we're gonna have a great time. All right. Awesome. Next one up on the list, our boy Nova. Oh, hi guys! We got we got we got a tour back there. They want to be in the vlog. Hey guys! This is the place. <laughs> <laughs> Nova, he's kind of weird. Sometimes yeah, he doesn't like shy. like me a lot. Oh yeah! There we go. See, that's what it was. There we go. He was like, I will not come close to you, yeah. but if you bring it to me, I will eat it. <laughs> There you go, Nova. Uh, and when he, I love, I love when he like chews it. His little ears yeah, go like boom, boom, boom. Out. Yeah. Right. You want another one, bud? <laughs> oh, he's really happy. About yeah, that. he is. He is. A roach, right here. Oh, oh, how did I miss him? Oh, these oh. things are so gross. Yeah, they are pretty nasty. Do you want me to put it's kind of hard. Well, you gotta grab him by the butt. Is it? That's what I was gonna try to do. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, sh ah! squeeze it. <laughs> here I go. <laughs> Hold the cup. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, you're just gonna do it all. I think he'd go after anything right now. Get it, get it. Get it, boy! Oh! <laughs> Look how crunchy they are. That's like a little Lay's chip right there. Oh my God. Ooh, shout out to Lay's. <laughs> anyway, here you go. Uh, feeding Nova went pretty well. Yeah. I think the next one up on our list is our new boy, Andy. Andy yeah. Shout out to Andy for sending that to us. I'm sure you're watching, shout so out to shout Andy out to you. For Andy. So, Nova, thanks for your uh, success. Andy, yeah. you're up next. Introducing Deadpool here to Perdita. She absolutely loves him, right? What do you think? Oh, about uh, I'm, I'm taking her home. She's my new girlfriend. Oh my God. Bye. I like it. Thank you. All right, see you, man. <laughs> Good to meet you, bud. Hey, Andy. Oh there yeah, you <laughs> he got them both. Yeah, <laughs> the one thing. Wow, wait, did he really? Yeah, he took out both at the same time. That's a double like kill, a as I like to call it. Yeah, after this one, try a superworm. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right, now train a superworm. Yeah, yeah, it's very. So let's see if he if he likes it. Silky, it moves a lot, so he should be. Here we go, Andy, super superworm, Andy. Come on, bud. Yeah, oh. let's go. <laughs> He's chowing. Awesome. One more. One more super worm, and then that'll be good. Come on, buddy. Will you do it if the price is right? Bam! <laughs> there you go. Awesome. And, and you win an all paid vacation from the price of the <laughs> To Hawaii. All right. There you go. I think he'll like it there. <laughs> yeah, he'll fit in just good. All right, so that actually, I wasn't really expecting him to eat. Yeah, I don't know. Me neither, actually. I was hearing some rumors around the shop that he's a little spotty, but we fed him crickets and super worms, so that's actually good. Maybe we're gonna, uh, maybe we can increase his diet next time to some roaches. Uh, yeah, right now I think we're three for three. We are so. three for three. Right. And then Deadpool met my boy RJ here. Uh, you're like a gator whisperer here too. You're doing pretty good, oh, bud. Crunchy. Ah. <laughs> Easy buddy. I better save Deadpool. Ah. <laughs> Alright, that was a mad crazy morning. A lot of tremendous fun. Definitely had a great time. It was definitely a crazy morning. Tours went absolutely great. I appreciate that Lori and Noah kind of took up for me. So I didn't have to bore you guys with all the tours. Regardless, we are ready to open for the Reptarium. What do you say we get it going? You ready? Let's do this. You ready? Laura, you ready? No. <laughs> Noah, you ready? Yeah. Let's get it going. Hey Hi guys, there. hi, how are you? Hi. Welcome, hi. come on in guys, how are you? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Welcome, thanks for coming guys, how are you? Nice welcome, you welcome too. guys, hi, come on in. Can I give you a hug? Oh, yes. 
<laughs> and it's on, you know, it's definitely a busy night tonight. It's actually really cool. A lot of, again, families are coming in. And that's one of the biggest changes I've seen in the Reptarium in the last probably two months, is it's so family-oriented now, whereas maybe it was before a bunch of reptile lovers. Now it seems to be families that are coming in, trying to hold stuff. You see all the kids, and it. it's so much fun. I tell you, we're having a great time, as always. Hold on, Amaya, you're not... Joker out. We got, oh my gosh, we got peaches out. Ferdinand out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Rockin' night here, I tell you what, got the alligators over here. Back, 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 back. You guys liking the alligators, guys? We got Daisy out, just having some fun. You guys enjoying yourself, man? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Over here, all right. The day is finally winding down here at the Reptarium. I think we got about 10 minutes before we close. Just a handful of people left. I tell you what, what an amazingly awesome day it was. Five tours, that was our record. We've never done five tours before. It was great to have Deadpool out for them. Everyone that came was absolutely incredible. Had an absolute blast. And then tonight was super busy at the Reptarium. I don't want to be repetitive so I don't film everything all the time. I'm glad that Lori and Noah got to pick up the slack for me. It was definitely very well worth it, but uh, I've got maybe an hour, hour and a half left of work to still do here, and then I'll go home. So my day started about 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I'll probably get home about 11 o'clock tonight, so just a typical day for me. <laughs> guys, I am beat. Gonna wrap up here. Call it a day. I love you guys so much. Your support is amazing. Be kind to someone today, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.